the show, everybody. I am the Notorious B.I.V. and this is my boy, Paulie G. Hey, how's everybody doing? And uh, we, we could discuss a variety of topics today, Paul. All right. But uh, we, we had a Christmas, we have a lost Christmas episode. I accidentally deleted it. Oh, wow. So, so everything we talked about last time uh, is gone. <laughs> is gone. <laughs> so um, that's, that's my fault. Um, and it, you know, like, it's, it's the last episode. It will never come back, but we, we could revisit that topic or we could talk about divorce mm. or we could talk about bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paul's all dressed up for, uh, for school. Yep. Yeah. Huh. I just came straight from school, so I'm dressed up. Yeah. Because it's the first day back. Yep. And it's the first day of snow. We got snow today for the first time. Yeah, I actually shoveled snow this morning. Yeah, me too. I'm guessing there's more snow to shovel when I get home. Yeah. For sure. Which is good, because we live in the desert state of Utah, so we need snow. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. It's just annoying, but... Yeah, well, it's funny, because, like... Like, we've lived here for years and years, and the snow comes every year, every winter. But, like, the first day of snow is always, it's always difficult for people, you know? Like, there are always tons of accidents, and it's just, like, I mean, car, car accidents. Yep. And whatever else. I mean, like, you know? And, like, and you would think, like, we'd be used to it, right? And we are, sort of, but, like, the first that first day of snow is always just it's always difficult for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> but then we adapt. We quickly adapt. So hopefully And then we get used to it. Yeah. And then it's like, whoa, the snow finally melted. Yeah. <laughs> it's May. <laughs> it's June. The snow finally melted. <laughs> sometimes it's like that. Sometimes yeah. Sometimes it goes forever. But anyway. So yeah. So I mean, so last time we were talking about like entertainment, right? Like, the, like things we were looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I thought, I, I thought more about it and I'm, and like you brought up Harry Potter. So, and I, and I loved, I loved the books. Me um, too. I, I think I watched, I think I actually watched the first and second movies. And then I picked up the books. Like after I saw the movies, I was like, oh, wow, this is way cool. I want to read the books. So I started reading the books after that. And I think, I think book five came out right about that time. And, you know, and so I, like I read all the books and then I'm, then I was like, oh crap, I have to wait for six, you know? And that was kind of, but I loved the books and I loved the movies. Um, but like, oh, that's the other thing. I'm not going to say like anymore. That's my New Year's resolution. Really? I'm not saying like anymore. I hate that. Because I, cause I watched our last, well, not our last video, but the video before that that's actually up. Go check it out. There will be a link at the end of this video. But, but I, I'm, I'm editing it, and I'm just like, it's like, 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 every other frigging word, and I hate that. Mm. So, that's that's what I'm gonna. So I'm not gonna say like anymore. So okay. help me. All right. <clears throat> Unless it's in the context of, I like ice cream, right? Or something like that, right? Okay. Gotcha. And you got to keep me on track. Okay. So, so Harry Potter. So I'm just over. I'm kind of over Harry Potter and Star Wars and just everything. Like, I said, like, <laughs> why? You're not excited for a reboot of Harry Potter? Not really. Oh, man, I am. I mean, I think it will be, we, we talked about, um, we talked about the, how 
books work better into series that you can stream and yeah, do as many as many seasons as many episodes as you need to to do a good job instead of a movie where you're trying to cram a, a giant book into a two hour or three hour movie or whatever streaming's like way better for i think for adapting all sorts of things right 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 i mean trying to trying to cram things into a two hour movie is just it's tricky yep you know and um, i agree and so for and so yeah, I think I think a streaming series of Harry Potter would be would be great. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah, yeah. But but I don't know. I just when when Fantastic Beasts came out, I was just I was like, eh, okay. And and maybe it's just because like. I said, like, maybe it's because I don't love, I don't like prequels a whole lot, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, Dumbledore was just this cool old wizard or whatever. And I don't, I don't need to know his backstory. And I don't need to know that he was gay and I don't need to know, right? Like, I don't need to know any of that stuff. Like, it's just, it's not. It's not really relevant. See, I, I would argue that the Star Wars prequels kind of ruin Darth Vader. Absolutely. They totally Darth do. Darth Vader is this awesome bad guy, and he has a mysterious backstory that Absolutely. you kind of know a little bit about, but not really. Yeah. And when you flesh the whole thing out, now you're like, whoops, now I said like, now you're saying, wow. So... He started off as this whiny kid, and then he became this whiny teenager, and then now he's the bad guy that I everybody fears so much. Yeah. Then you just think he's stupid, and it takes all of the mystery and all of the coolness out of him. Yeah, I absolutely did not need to know Darth Vader's backstory at all. I mean, sometimes you sometimes going into too much detail ruins things. Like, oh, yeah. let's explain the Force. It's with midichlorians. Yeah. Like that does not help. No. And that just yeah. And and at least Harry Potter is still like at least it's still being um you know steered by JK Rowling, right? Like she's right. she's still involved. Right. Although although Star Wars, I mean George Lucas did the prequels, right? And it was like not that great. It's funny. My daughter thinks they're awesome. Yeah, I know a lot of a lot of kids that grew up with those really like them. Yeah, and and I think too, if you compare them to like to the the last three, it's like you know, yeah, they are kind of, they are pretty good compared to those. I think. I I like the the let's see, so it'd be seven, eight, and nine, right? Yeah, I like those way more than the prequels. Really? Yeah. Hmm. But anyway, I um. Although I wish they would have just done uh. Who's the guy who wrote the books? Uh, Dull. I can't. Was it? There was somebody who wrote a ton of novels where yeah. Luke and Leia, or uh, Han and Leia get married and have twins, and he wrote all, right. these, all these novels, and they were great. Like, why not just do the movies based and, on and those? Admiral Thrawn and all that stuff. Yeah, why not yeah. just do movies based on those instead of starting from scratch and starting all over again? Oh, well, whatever. Well, but, it, but I mean, but Disney, that, that's the thing. It's like Star Wars is just, it's just a name now. It's not Star Wars, really, right? It's just, it's a name. That Disney owns, and they're and they're like, oh, we're gonna make our own movies. They're making they're make now they're they've announced like a Ray movie or something. Another Ray movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I and don't know that. And everyone's all like up in arms on the internet because because <laughs> the lady said something like, it's about time for a female to like lead the series, like talking about Ray, and I'm like. And it's like, well, she was, lead, she led the last three movies. What are you talking about? Yeah, right. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, but so J.K. Rowling is still involved, but I just, I didn't have any desire to really see the 
Fantastic Beasts stuff. And, and you liked them, right? Yeah. But I kind of took them on their own merit. I was, I, I kind of saw them as... Like not as Harry Potter necessarily? Yeah. They're in the Harry Potter universe, but they're not really... I mean, they're really not even that connected to the characters that in Harry Potter. So it's just kind of, oh, here's another story in this universe or whatever. Other than, like, other than Dumbledore or people that were mentioned in Harry Potter. Yeah. Like the guy that wrote Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. What's his name? I don't know. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I think definitely the Darth Vader thing. Like, when I when I watched Star Wars originally, I was just like, wow, this... He's like this cool, scary, enigmatic yeah guy you know yeah and 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 that's all you need to know i have a friend who said when she saw when she saw for the first time people when he first comes on screen people audibly gasped because they were they were impressed and they were yeah i I remember that that was like way cool yeah like he comes out at the people were smoking door impressed with this bad guy after all the stormtroopers like rush in and kill everybody and then, like, he walks in, and they're all, like, standing at attention or whatever. Yeah. Very impressive. Yep. Yeah. They just don't make them like they used to, unfortunately. I mean, well, they don't. They're still making the same old stuff, too. That's what's kind of dumb. So I just saw the new Indiana Jones movie over the holidays. Did you like it? I thought, have you seen it? No. Oh, I thought it was a good action movie. It had lots of action, but I just thought, man, you feel like indie. Or... I just thought this is an awesome franchise. If you can't do something really, really awesome, just leave it alone. Yeah. And so I felt like it was not necessary. I felt like you could make your own movie. Do your make right. make yeah. your own movie totally. and leave Indiana totally. Jones out of it. You know, make something. No, like the you know the Matrix. They made the Matrix back in the nineties. Like that was its own thing, right? You know, it wasn't a it wasn't a franchise or whatever. It wasn't terrible, um, I, but it, I just I just thought it wasn't it wasn't good enough to be one of the Indiana Jones movies. I, I thought mm. you know you want to you want to end on a high point. You don't want to end on a low point and be like yeah. oh well. I guess we're going to stop making these movies because they're not very good anymore. You know, that's not how you want to end it. Sure. And Kingdom of the Crystal Skull wasn't amazing. No. But but that's the thing. It's the, the, the studios that own these franchises or these names or whatever, they're not going to stop making movies because they want the money, right? It's, yeah. it's a business. Yeah. And so... But... I don't know. I, I think it's just got to be the right person, you know, someone who gets it. And I don't think, I don't think a lot of people get, you know, what made Indiana Jones cool or what was cool about Star Wars. Like I don't, I don't even feel like people that are making this those movies are like fans of that stuff. What would be super hard is they've you know they've made the first three Star Wars movies and then trying to make another movie after that, I mean, yeah. No matter what you do, you're not gonna make a great as movie a movie as great as those movies. Yeah. And I feel kind of the same way with the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah. It would be really hard to make another one, so then don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first Indiana Jones was was awesome. I, the next two weren't really that great but like it, but we still you know everyone still liked them because it was indiana jones you know yeah um yeah but i i watched over over the break i watched on youtube it's probably pirated i don't even i watched uh, mission impossible the first one no the last the the most recent oh. one that was so good. Did you see it? Oh, I I was so excited for it to come out. I love really? the Mission Impossible franchise. 
I've seen all those movies multiple times. I think they're awesome. They're amazing. Yeah. Like they're really, they're really good. I, I saw the first Mission Impossible and it was gobbledygook. And I was like, this is lame. I, I really didn't like the first one. I loved it. Did you? You oh, liked the first one? I liked it so much. I watched it over and over again because I had to, wow. I felt like I had to watch it over and over again to understand it because I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't like a person who reads spy novels. And so there were all these terms I didn't understand. I, I got so, lost in the plot. I was, yeah, I, I did like, too. What so then I watched here? it over and over again. I'm like, okay, now I'm getting it. So like there's a mole. Like, what does that mean? Now I get well, it. Well, yeah. Anyway. I, I didn't love the first one. And then, which one did John Wu do? Was that two or three? Uh, do you remember? Uh, I saw that one because I was like, oh, John Wu. Like, I was a big John Wu fan. I can't remember if it was two or three. Yeah, it was, it was two or three. And I, I saw that one, and it was okay. It must have been two, because I can't remember what two was. So it must have been two. And then, and, and so then I just stopped watching him. I was like, eh, whatever. But but then during COVID, my brother-in-law came and it was like, hey, we should go see a movie because we always go see a movie. And, but it was COVID. And I called down at the theater and they're playing all these old movies. And they were playing Mission Impossible 7. I think it was 7. Was that? Yeah, I can't remember. Was that Fallout? I don't know what it was called. Anyway. Fallout was really good. With, uh, with Henry Cavill. Um, that one was so good. Oh yeah, I, I went and saw it, and I was like, well, this is freaking amazing. Like, right? This is so good. Just the bathroom fight scene? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Incredible. And uh, and so so I was like, wow, this is really good. Um, and then when, 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 what is it, Dead Reckoning came out, I just, I don't know, I, I was just back in, uh, you know, whatever mode. But then I watched it on YouTube, and by the way, and it's, I swear it's pirated, because it's, like, I don't know how they got this on YouTube. And maybe, I, and if you want to watch it, it's titled December 10th, 2023. That's what, that's what it's called. And I just happened to click on it, and I, I was like, oh, crap, this is Mission Impossible. This is awesome. And I watched it, and it was, it went, it was amazing, again. And the ver very first one? No, the no. Oh, the newest the, one. Yeah, the newest, newest one. one. Gotcha. So That's I've, why I must I've be watched, pirated. Because... So I've watched seven and the, this, the Dead Reckoning now. So I went back two summers ago. I watched them all and watched them all in order, and I was so glad I did. Even the John Woo one, which wasn't my favorite, I'm so glad I saw it. It still was a cool movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, those are way good. Yeah. And. I mean, it's a time limit, but. Yeah, it was like it was summer, and I was had the summer off, so I had plenty of time. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to do that. Anyway, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess we'll talk about divorce next time, huh? Yeah, let's let's we could talk about divorce next time. I've been divorced. I know. So I know. I want to pick I, your brain because I work. I'm working with a couple of guys that. You know, one's been divorced for about a year, but it's still pretty fresh. And he's still kind of bitter about it. And another guy who is d about to go through a divorce, his wife just said, oh, we're getting divorced. And he's like, oh, crap. So, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe we can talk about that. Sounds good. I mean, <laughs> it's not good, but no, it will. Hopefully something good will come out of it. One thing we talked about last time was the Percy Jackson series, which now oh. I've seen like the first four episodes of because now it's been out since we talked about it last. Are they, are they making all the, all the movies? All the books? All the books? Well, I'm assuming so, but you never know. So huh? four movies. Out. I mean, Disney was doing The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and they finally stopped doing the movies yeah. because they weren't doing very well. So we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully these will do well, because that will give them a ton. There's a lot of books to do, you know, so. Okay. Percy Jackson, huh? Okay. Yep. So you're you're stoked for Percy Jackson and um, I'm a little disappointed with Percy Jackson Harry because Potter. the books were so funny and they've taken a lot of the humor out of these mm. and made it a lot more serious. Yeah. And I think maybe one of the reasons why is because the movies were so funny and they're trying to stay away from what the movies were like so they're making the they're you making the this books. series 
Uh, the, the so they made Percy Jackson movies, and people hated them. Oh. And they were like, what have you done to our beloved books? And those movies had a lot of silliness and a lot of joking around. Oh. So I think that maybe so one of the reasons made, why this series... Now they're making a, a series on Disney+. Plus. Oh. That's what we were talking about last time, is how this is the way to do it, because then you mm. can do a good job instead of like yeah. trying to shove it all in a book, right? Or in a movie. Yeah, totally. So... I think maybe one of the reasons why it's less funny is because they're trying to make it not like the movies that were more funny. But it's too bad, because there's so much humor in the books. I was looking forward to that. Yeah. But, oh well. They, I think there's, they're doing a good job, though. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I, I feel like a, a streaming series, maybe they don't cost as much money. I don't know. Or maybe they do. I don't know. I know when they maybe were... they cost more. When they were like doing the Mandalorian, they were like spending. They had a budget for each episode that was like a ton of money. I can't remember how much, but I mean they had a huge budget for those episodes. So how do they get that money back? Is it through subscribe? Just having subscribers? And I stuff? guess. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, that's that's sort of what we talked about in on our Christmas episode. Maybe this was better. Maybe this was better. <laughs> just pretend it was <laughs> and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode alright guys take care see ya